Hello lovely people, here is Natalie Rajevic again, coming live for the sixth day of anchoring in the full moon meditation to bring more peace and love and really harmony, transform all the old pattern of leadership and uh, relationship between human and really anchoring in equality from eye to eye and really self-love and respect for each other no matter which color, which race uh, is male or female and yeah, just to be one human here on earth. I mean, we are all different. It's not to make us all same, but um, just to respect all of us being here and all the other beings as well. Okay, so today Sophia is very strongly here. And um, she really, really wants to bring her wisdom to us and she helps us to anchor all that in what we worked on the whole last week. So I just allow her energy already to flow in and you're, I invite you to also open the room to really allow her in to move into your cells and through your cells and through your body also in the earth. And just imagine that the whole earth is being blessed by this energy of Sophia. And Sophia is the, the goddess of the wisdom. She is the great mother. And she is also often known as the spirit, you know, the dove that we see often with in, in the Christianity with uh, God and um, Jesus and Maria. We have the dove above and this is Sophia. So just allow, allow this really old wisdom to join us and to really bless us and to nurture us, she says. So it's like really to fill all our batteries, to really get blessed and loved and really filled with this wisdom. And she says it's the wisdom of new beginning new beginnings, so. And it's a white and golden energy that is coming in through her. And it's really, really nurturing us. From above, and as I said, it's really going through us into the earth deep down, anchoring in what we did, what we invited, it's nurturing and really bringing this new wisdom to us for things that we don't know yet. So it's really new wisdom. And she says also old wisdom. So it's like that she is connecting both so it's I'm seeing like an aid it's like the old and the new is getting interwoven in us and Sophia is also the one that we often see with the grail that is coming with the grail um, to bring this knowledge to bring this wisdom And it's also the wisdom that we have in us. So she is connecting us to our own wisdom. And this brings me back to the leadership that we were talking about as well. So to be our own leaders. And yeah, not to blame just the leaders in the outside, but to see whom are we supporting with our energies, with our, you know, what, what we put out. Um, and... How are we leaders in our own lives? And she is talking again about that we really have to trust ourselves, to learn to trust ourselves. And she says this is coming when you're going deeper and deeper into your heart. Hi, Devin. Hi, Sonia. So 
So allow this wisdom from Sophia to really penetrate you, to really come into every cell of your body, every cell of your being onto all levels. And also allow it to go deeper into your DNA and also into your history as it is in your highest good. And let it go through your legs into the earth and through your whole being. And now I'm seeing that the whole earth is covered in this Sophia energy. So just be with me in that and see this wisdom from Sophia, from our source of light to really go into the whole earth, into every being, every cell of the earth as well. And it's happening by itself, so it's just seeing it is enough. And then connect to your heart so you can put your hands on your heart if you like. And just feel in this Sophia energy also your heart and the connection to the heart of Mother Earth. Allow your roots to go into earth very gently. And to feel your heart, the roots of your heart also going downwards and connect to the heart of Mother Earth. And then you feel that the earth energy is coming up again. And I'm feeling it again, a lot of flowery energy that is surrounding you now. So we're having the light from Sophia from above and the earth energy from below coming in. And again, they remember us really to think how we go along in our lives with our own leadership on so many levels. And whom are we supporting? Which leaders are we supporting? And what other leaders are we supporting? Are they in alignment with that? What we feel is in the highest good of all or not? And then they remind us we can always um, clear ourselves from everything where we have given our um, energy to and just call it back and decide where we want to put our energy in. And they say now leadership has always to be connected with your heart. So just stay with this hard energy between you and earth. And they say this is the right way then. Just feel this wisdom and feel this heart connection to the earth. And then you will know what is right for you. Which way to go, what to decide and how to lead your life. And then you can feel really the support of Mother Earth coming as well up um, behind your back really supporting you, that you can lean into it. And they say um, it will be needed much more to let go of really old habits that we inher inherited, you know, really old thought forms about who we are, what is right, who is right, <laughs> and this all. And... Yeah, they really want to open up us that we are much more than we uh, seem to be. And that we remember we came a long way to come here. Or if you like to see the universe more on parallel levels, that we are on several levels at the same time. So I'm here perhaps white, but on another level I'm perhaps black. On another level I'm a male now I'm a female so it doesn't matter and over the times when we go in timelines um, we have been also in different religions we have been in different thought forms we have been in different levels uh, of income and 
Um, so we have experienced often quite a lot. Perhaps we have been on other planets, you know, this depends who you are, where, where you're coming from. Um, and so just to open our human mind that we are in at the moment to the possibility that we thought already different things in different lives um, and to let go of all these belief systems they are not serving us um, let go of all the agreements that we made with any religion or any person any leader any master you know that we gave our lives to um, and to really look closely when these things are coming up in us so And they say when this is coming up, just allow it to go into the earth, allow it to go with a water stream. And, and they say it's really about setting yourself more and more free of these thoughts, setting yourself free of these belief systems. And what is really important is what they showed us now before, you know, this feeling, this flow of so fear, this wisdom, this knowledge, this knowing, connecting to the heart and to the heart of Mother Earth, and then feeling the truth within. And the, all, all the other constructs, it's just constructs of the mind, and they can separate us easily, but they are not really that what is important at the moment. So just allow yourself to dwell today a bit more in this Sophia energy and be in this loving space to Mother Earth and to yourself and allow yourself to get free and free and to really wake up more and more into your true self, into your true being. I think that was it for today i hope you enjoyed it thanks for being here and anchoring this really in what we did all over the last week and tomorrow is the last day so enjoy this sophia energy um, and bless to you bye thanks